In an incredible engineering feat over 100 years ago, the Victorians constructed Lake Vernwy by building a dam across the upper reaches of the Avon Vernwy Valley to create a reservoir, built an aqueduct, and laid pipes to distribute fresh water to communities across the northwest. The same network is still in use today, and it's our responsibility to ensure we'll be delivering clean water to customers for many years to come. Over time, the build-up of minerals common with older pipes can sometimes cause water to become discoloured and affect the pipe's internal condition. Between 2010 and 2015, we began a comprehensive programme of re-lining a section of the pipes. We've already completed 40% of the work, but there's more to do in this 10-year project. The aqueduct was built back 130 years ago and it's just coming to the end of its asset life. So what we need to do is we need to renew it. So as opposed to taking, digging up the old aqueduct and putting a new one in, what we do is we put a new pipe inside the old aqueduct. If we dug the whole thing up, it'd be massive disruption and we'd leave a big scar along the environment. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be digging holes every sort of 500 meters so we can push the pipe through and 500 meters later, it'll pop out the other side. There'll be a lot less disruption, a lot less heavy haulage equipment coming in and out. New, modern linings will be inserted into the remaining sections of the aqueduct. The process involves using large machinery to thread the new pipe through the existing older ones. The refurbishment will also help to ensure the aqueduct is more resilient for generations to come. Where the existing pipe is made of a suitable material, we'll use a cleaning method to remove the mineral buildup. We're relining pipes in agricultural fields and bustling urban areas, through Delamere Forest and under the River Weaver. To prepare the way for this planned work, we'll be surveying areas and engaging with landowners, stakeholders, local authorities and communities to ensure we keep disruption to a minimum while we safely conduct our work. The work is split in three sections. The first section is from Malpaz to Tarpoli, the other two sections run from Tarpoli to Norton and from Norton to Prescott. At each area, we'll have working compounds where our team, materials and machinery will be based. We'll do everything we can to minimise our impact but we may have to remove trees and hedgerows to create temporary access to the working area. We may not be able to return it to exactly as it was, but we will return it sensitively to look after the environment. Temporary road closures and traffic management will also be necessary. We'll give plenty of advance warning and liaise with local councils to keep traffic moving. The work needs to be done, so we need to make sure that from a a water quality point of view, from a safety point of view, that we're doing everything right. And as we progress, we'll be continually checking in with our teams and with our communities to make sure that we are doing everything that we can. Updating this century-old network is a huge project. We'll provide regular updates to the local community, and you can always contact us if you have any queries or need to talk to us. If you experience any inconvenience or disturbance, we hope you'll understand. And when we've finished, customers across the Northwest will continue to enjoy fresh, clean water straight from Lake Vernwee.